Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist Valesky. Today we see a video in which we will make a react uh, sulfuric acid with different metals and in the uh, next one we will make uh, uh, nitric acid react with uh, different metals. So the metals that you are going to use today uh, are some uh, magnesium, uh, which is triple magnesium, then some uh, aluminium, uh, and we are going to use a uh, uh, foil of aluminium and also some powder of it. Then we are going to use some zinc powder and uh, at last uh, some uh, iron uh, in form uh, of coins uh, uh, and also some uh, copper. So let's check this out. So the procedure for this experiment uh, is to firstly uh, prepare a solution of sulfuric acid and this solution must be really concentrated. We are talking about 96% uh, of uh, sulfuric acid and uh, with this solution uh, we will uh, put some metal inside this metal uh, can be for example uh, magnesium uh, copper uh, iron uh, aluminum and so on so we will see the different reaction uh, for uh, this experiment and what's more we will see the difference between power metal and uh, uh, solid metal in a uh, uh, st stable form and also we see the difference uh, when we add water and uh, we, when we don't do that.
the reactions that happen in this experiment uh, are done between sulfuric acid uh, and the metals. Uh, these types of reactions uh, are very exothermic uh, and uh, they have three many dangerous gases, uh, so we must do them uh, outside. Uh, uh, these uh, reactions uh, uh, produce uh, a salt that is soluble uh, in water, of course, uh, and uh, when uh, we uh, put the metals uh, simply into the acid uh, without diluting it, diluting it uh, uh, even uh, a bit of it, uh, we see that they don't react uh, a lot, uh, only magnesium does that. Uh, uh, when we add water, uh, we see that there is a, a similar effect, uh, which we saw uh, between uh, copper uh, and nitric acid. Uh, pure nitric acid didn't react with copper, and here it's similar. By adding some water, it reacts better. Uh, this happens uh, because of uh, two uh, um, um, things. Uh, the first one is because uh, passivation uh, can no longer uh, happen in this way. Uh, and uh, nextly, uh, uh, there is also the fact uh, that uh, by adding water to, to uh, sulfuric acid, uh, uh, we heat it up because the dissolution of uh, sulfuric acid uh, is exothermic. Uh, but you have to remember uh, to be careful uh, and add uh, slowly sulfuric acid to the uh, sorry water to the sulfuric acid. The experiment is finally over, and uh, even though this experiment uh, might uh, seem really simple, uh, you must be careful because uh, this experiment involves uh, a highly concentrated uh, solution of sulfuric acid, and this is really corrosive. And so, in order not to get hurt uh, because of this uh, acid, you have to use gloves, uh, really strong gloves and also uh, wear uh, some masks in order not to inhalate the vapors, the gases uh, freed by the reaction and freed by the sulfuric So everyone, if you like this experiment, please let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more amazing videos and synthesis, you can go visit our page and subscribe to it. So, for today's all, thanks for watching!